Hi folks. Today, you might be asking yourself, why are we looking at Ben's dishwasher? And the answer to that is very simple. We're performing a science experiment today. I want to see if a dishwasher can wash vinyl records. Today, I have two LPs. I have Baron Von Liszt plays Strauss waltzes and Lawrence Welk, I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles. And we have two 45s in the Valley of the Moon and Hey Pretty Girl by uh, somebody. Uh, and we have Good Night My Love Pleasant Dreams with the B-side of Mummy by the McGuire Sisters. These four records are going to be used for a science experiment today because I have absolutely no interest in them. I've done samples of the audio before, and we will do samples after to see what it sounds like, as well as I've taken pictures of what the records look like before, and I'll take pictures of what they look like afterwards, so you can see the difference. And we'll find out once and for all if you can use a dishwasher to wash vinyl records. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> put the 45s in the top rack since they fit nicely up there and we'll put the LPs in the bottom pretend they were dishes of course we need some soap Today I have packets of Up and Up Advanced Dishwasher Packs, 8 times power for cleaning those extra dirty records. We'll close it up, set it to no heat dry. and put it on the normal mode. And we'll be back once it finishes washing. The dishwasher has completed the washing cycle and is now into the drying cycle. However, since we're doing the no heat dry, eh, this isn't actually doing anything. So. Let's take the records out and find out if they are washed. Well, they're still in one piece. Mostly. As could be expected, the, uh, the labels have gotten a bit wet, and in this case, a little bit damaged. One second and I'll dry these off. I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, now that the records have been dried, let's take them for a spin. Down the lane we meet by the road 
Let's talk about the audio quality first. Surprisingly, I didn't notice any real discernible difference between the records before they were washed and after. These records are around 40 years old and were actually played, so it's understandable that they'd have some clicks and pops. But it's surprising that the clicks and pops didn't get any worse after washing. I wouldn't say they got any better either, but they didn't get any worse. It is notable that the 45s sound substantially worse than the LPs. This is a pattern I've seen with a lot of records, and it's something I'd like to discuss in another video. Moving on to the physical appearance of the records, there's two things we can look at. The playing surface and the labels. Not surprisingly, the labels took the most damage from going in the dishwasher, and none of the records were spared from some damage. The worst victim had its label almost completely ripped off. The background color on two of them became faded. You could almost say the color was... washed out... at... Uh, in it and one of them the text got darker I'm not sure how that happened but the Lawrence Welk LP definitely started with light text and ended up with darker text as for the playing surface of the records the real evidence is in the audio quality since my dishwasher detergent is somewhat abrasive I expected the surface would have gotten really scratched up surprisingly the records don't look much if any worse than they did before and the insignificant change in audio quality backs this up. Overall, is washing your records with a dishwasher something I'd recommend? Mm, no. The audio quality didn't get any worse, and it was a lot less work than it usually takes me to wash records, but the risk of destroying the label isn't worth it to me. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you folks next time.